I have never done anything like this before, and it is intoxicating, and I miss it like mad. Um, what it was like to join this, I've been a Mission fan from the beginning. I've seen, I've seen these films so many times. For me to even realize and understand that I've been a part of it is unreal. I'm sort of reliving it while we do interviews, when I get to sort of retell the stories, because you're so in the moment of training and doing action, and, and there's incredible familiar domestic feeling on set. And then we leave it, and now we get to sort of relive it again. I love that she is fascinating. I love that there's a mysteriousness to her that is told by character, but also by the incredible way that Robert Ellswood, the DOP, shoots in this mysterious way. It sort of, it brings the whole film back to some kind of a 1940s look, but with hardcore undercover agents rushing through. She is an undercover agent. Um, she is, I'd say, sort of a wandering person. We don't really know where she comes from, but she tries to help out Ethan on their mission. But she uh, makes different choices now and then. <laughs> Physical. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a Mission Impossible movie, so it's not like you're thrown in and bam, it's action, go, roll. We had a month and a half to prep for it, and you would prep for the sequence coming up. So the first sequence was jumping off the rooftop here in Vienna Opera House. And having vertigo, that was an intense training session, just to be in a harness and gradually work yourself up to 75 feet and then actually take a leap of faith and jumping with Tom, thank God. Um, but it's been intense and hard workout, and I didn't know I would love it as much as I did. Wade Eastwood, who's the stunt coordinator, when we try to create a specific movement for Ilsa, or her fighting technique, so it wouldn't mirror Ethan Hunt's, was to find a graceful dance sort of movement about her when she goes in, but with force. She's not just a, a graceful maneuverer. She goes in to kill. She just does it gracefully. When I flew into London to meet him, I'd been in the desert on a camel called Barbie. Um, it could have been so scary, it was scary, it was nerve-wracking, but I didn't really have time to build up this sort of panic that um, one usually can, you know, you have three, four days to prepare for a meeting. I had a couple of hours. And then there he was, and Chris was there, and it was the most welcoming meeting I've actually been to, where we just drink coffee and we laugh and we have fun. And episodically it hit me that you're sitting opposite Tom Cruise, but then equally as quick, he brings me out of it by just being a cool, fun dude. And that's been the onset feeling all the time. And then you welcome Simon Pegg and Jeremy Renner and Ving and Sean and it's just, it's an established crew with incredible actors and they just welcome me on board. There's something maybe if you come in and you haven't seen a Mission Impossible movie, I've seen all of them. I know these characters. And for me, it was the idea of what can I bring to the table? What can I do? That panicked me quite a bit. But then Chris and Tom, we sat down and we just sort of had ideas and thoughts and threw them out. And there were no stupid questions. Even on set, when I were around all these, you know, colleagues, nothing was odd. Nothing would be annoying or, or, or ridiculous in manner of me wanting to find out something. Everything was welcoming. It was basically just sort of, hi, who are you? <laughs> Have a coffee, lie down, relax. Chris tells stories on and off set. You're in a story world with Chris. It's like you, you walk through a door into a brain that is so smart and so twisty and turny. If you watch the film, you might have to see it a couple of times to actually get the subtleness that Chris brings to a story. There's a thought and a process behind every action. Nothing is made without thought. And that's Chris. And then it's a laugh and a hoot and hugs. We are on serpentine roads in Morocco, hitting Wise Azat. We are on the rooftop of Vienna. I mean, we are 
basically shooting in every location where it's needed. And that is pretty new for me, to actually feel it and to smell it and to use your senses. I mean, what a luxury. I'm excited for the audience who love Mission Impossible, but also for people maybe who haven't seen a mission, to get thrown into a world of intelligence, of creative group, different characters who have soul, who have emotions, and to feel a part of that, and to expect the unexpected, and incredible stunts. I want their hearts to, you know, beat. I want them to be on the edge of their seat. And I want them to be able to lean back and just feel welcomed into, into a world of intelligent excitement.